Hello, and welcome back to Yukumo Village. So it's a very peaceful day in the room, and there's Rakuhara admiring the maple leaves outside of her room. Beautiful. And there, a little blue bird. Get, get out of the way. Yeah, there we go. Killed. Oh my gosh, the cat. Yeah. And off it goes. Well, anyways, so yeah, welcome back to Yukumo Village. This is MH Geek here, together with... Um, Rakurara, my character, and we shall be taking down the Agnator today. So I just want to um, have a quick announcement to make, not really an announcement, just, just saying that instead of using Barrel Bombs this time, we're going to use Barrel Bomb Plus, L Plus, large, large Barrel Bomb Plus. So how do you make these? Basically, um, from Barrel Bombs, basically you just combine them with Scatterfish, and there you go, as simple as that. Bam! Another Barrel Bomb Plus, large Barrel Bomb Plus, but yeah. So um, in order to increase your the chances of you uh, succeeding the combination, do buy the Book of Combos from 1, 2, 3, 4, and as many as you can afford. Um, just one of each will be fine. So yeah, and um, one thing to note is that following up from the last episode's question on what bow I should use, uh, you know what, I realized that I made this... Jinuga set for a reason and that reason was to basically have the normal up plus I mean normal normal shot what was what, it called again no there's a yes normal slash rapid up so this basically improves my um, rapid type bows and what's the point of making this set if I don't use a rapid bow along with it so yeah I apologize but nah there's not gonna be any variety Nope, not at all. And wow, they provide barrel bombs anyway, so yay. Well, thank thankfully I didn't bring the the other barrel bombs then, cause uh you can only carry up to three at one go, so yeah, that's lucky. So they the Agneto. <clears throat> so what's so interesting about this guy? He's uh quite a snake like kind of lava creature. Oh you drum, that's nice. Um yeah, and he's he has this very interesting ability where it, it digs into the lava and swims around in it. And then, um, similar to how Diablos does his uh, surprise attack from the sand underground, well, this Agneto does pretty much the same thing, but uh, slightly less violent, yet equally tr threatening. Like, um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to describe because he has quite a bit of, quite a number of, oh, go away, quite a number of moves and, uh, well, the ecology video should explain some of it, I guess, I hope. So, question is, I don't really know where he spawns. So I'm gonna have to just try and find him quickly. Um, as usual, I've brought all my... Everything that I need for this. Like, all the coatings and all the bombs and... Yep, okay, so there we go. So, as you can see, there he is. Digging through not just the ground but through the ceiling of the volcano. I'm like, what is this? Like, oh my gosh. So, um, one very plausible explanation is that you notice how his beak is shaped, like with like sort of an arrowhead. So it's not exactly the sharpest beak, I would say, but yes, it it sort of allows it to dig into the the ground slash ceiling volcano whatever and another thing to note is that you notice how he was bright orange like with lava all over it when it went into the lava and when it comes out it sort of turns black well very simple this is just simple logic I mean like lava cools when lava cools it, it hardens into into rock into basalt I mean it depends on how fast the cooling occurs but um, yeah and well, simply, um, damn, I, I can't remember all the geography stuff that I learned. <laughs> but in any case, yeah, um, just get get a move on because he, he does this, and uh, he'll just keep trying to repeatedly do it over and over again to hunt you down. So you can tell when he's done by his uh, extremely long drilling up process, and every time he goes into the lava, that lava shell of his sort of um, weakens. So you can actually damage him very effectively, and if you're melee, that is uh, kind of something you want to take note. 
But if he's been out of the ground for a while Whoa, damn, damn, I was not expecting that If he has been out on the ground for a while um, his, uh, The lava coating his body would What do you call Harden and solidify So it actually makes it harder to pierce through So you need to have quite a pretty high sharpness to deal with that So alternatively, you can just, you know, wait for him to Yeah, dive into the lava before you can attack him again And there he goes, pecking with his huge big like mouth I would actually call it a, I would actually call it a pig. I mean, since it's it pretty much serves that kind of function. Oh, wow! What happened? Not not sure why he flinched there, but I'll take that. So he swims around a lot, like this, uh, like a Ludroff kind of feeling. But then again, this is quite quite true of all Leviathan-like monsters, in which they have uh, very long, slender bodies. And there you go, flinched you because of the shot in the face. So yeah. Breakable parts, this guy's got- whoa, whoa, he's angry. This guy's got quite a bit of breakable parts. Um, firstly, you can break his beak. Next, you can break his uh, back. Oh my gosh, the earth is shaking. What's this? Oh my gosh, he's right beside me. Holy shite. Okay, okay, this is one heck of his signature move, which is quite scary. As you can see, he shoots laser beams like 360 degrees. It's very hard to avoid it. The best way that I know of is to simply stay right by his side. Uh, unless you do the Superman dive. And please don't move that, alright. So, yeah, there's, there are times where he just shoots a straight laser beam, and there are times where he actually, um, um what you call, s spins it around, sw swings it around, yeah. So, he goes into lava again. Um, oh my gosh, no! I was keeping my weapon! Ow! So, with every hit that he does to you, he sets you on fire, which is very annoying. So, it's very, uh, it would be helpful if you have uh, some sort of a fire resist set or something. Oh, please, stop it. There we go again. Another of his uh, I'm coming at you kind of thing. So, come on, be done with it. Alright, very nice. Just gonna quickly shoot a couple of sh Oh, I missed. Yep, oh, he's, he's gonna shoot again and he's not swinging it yet. I think it's because this is still considered low rank. Uh, because in high rank, I do remember having a lot of trouble with this guy just swinging his bloody laser beam all over the place and he, he's got he, oh there he is all right um just for you guys to know wow i dodged that holy shit that that was that was pure luck i actually wanted to super show you guys the superman dive how to dodge through it but i guess uh we'll have to wait for another chance so yeah okay um if you the interesting interaction with this guy is that if you are to actually use a water weapon um it cools his body much, the lava on his body much faster, and so it actually um, causes him to harden. I mean, the lava on his body to harden faster than normal. Uh, I believe the same is the same happens when you use an ice weapon. I'm not, I'm not too sure. But uh, in any case, just gonna, just gonna hope he doesn't. Yep, he doesn't uh, spin that thing. Sweet, whatever. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm missing like so many shots. This is not good. Uh, what? Whoa, whoa! Oh, he's gonna do that stuff again. Ah, oh, just gonna stay right beside him and apply my sleep coating while it misses me entirely. So yay! Okay, as he comes out of lava, I'm just gonna keep shooting him. Yes. So you can break his uh the armor pieces on his leg as well, I believe. I can't really remember too clearly. Um, yeah. So this guy. Oh my gosh. So much of a nuisance, but well, not as bad as um, T-Rex, I would say, <laughs> in, as compared to the last episode. That was really quite a fuss, and yep, as you can see, yep, this move is once again very familiar. The Royal Ludroth did this as well, and okay, so latent power is activated, means I've been fighting this guy for a while already, but I've yet to break anything, so meh. I'm gonna quickly try and put him to... Oh, I can't put him to sleep. He's gonna run away to the next map. That poop. Oh, shite. I forgot to paintball him. I have no idea if he's going to 5 or 8. Darn it. Um, okay. Remember, I need to paintball him. Note to self. Okay, so I'm um, just gonna head to the next area. Hopefully he's there. Area 5. Are you here? Nope, you're not here. So he's at area 8. I hope he is, that is. He, he is there, at least I hope. Yeah, whatever. Mm. Okay. 
So just gonna pop over there. Hope he's there. Yep, he's here. Okay. Please don't uh, shoot your laser. Yeah, that would really suck big time. <laughs> Alright, so here he comes. I'm just gonna toss this paintball right on him. Okay, land it on his tail. Oh my gosh, wow, wow, wow. Dude, dude. Go to sleep. Are you not gonna go to sleep? Wow, he's... He has quite a, a lot of sleep resistance maybe? Oh, nope, there we go. And I think I broke something. Yeah, I probably broke the lava on his fins or something. Oh, wait, what? Why is he awake again? What, what, what? Holy shikes! That's not fair! Oh man! Oh, come on! Did you guys do it, cats? Did you? Own up! The one that did it, own up! Own yourself up! God damn it! Ah! Uh, more sleep coatings wasted. Damn it! Ow! Oh, and you see, as you can see, because he's pegging into the ground, uh, pegging into the volcano, I mean, so only his beak is actually, um, like, sort of softened, whereas the rest of his body is actually still... Ouch! What the heck was that? So the rest of his body is still quite hard, which is annoying for MIDI users at least. Uh, I'm not that concerned with it, although that is a concerning one. So yeah, um, this... Oh, shh! Alvin, darn it! So this is pretty amazing. He's actually um, sort of what you call predicting. His the AI is actually quite good in this one. He predicts where am I going, and you know, it changes his uh, direction quite, adapts it quite um, quickly, adapts to it quite quickly. I mean, yeah, you, you get the point. The words are not formulating correctly in my head. Because I'm concentrating on how to... Oh shit, I should have kept that... No! Okay, Superman dive away. Yep, just in time. Okay, and uh, he's out of the ground now. Right. So yeah, I believe you can break um, a number of his... Yep, that, that's his big broken. He's, he's probably the... The monster with the most number of breakable parts, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'm just gonna like, cut him here because it's... Ugh, I don't wanna waste my power coatings. Critical distance is it's too close to be critical distance. Alright, um I hope he's gonna shoot the laser again. Please don't spin it. Yep, he doesn't. Yeah, I broke his chest. Did you see that? That's nerd. I mean of course you did, but <laughs> Whoa! Close. Gonna pop the hot the cold ring because uh it would be risky to not do so. And I really really want to use the bombs to Oh my uh, did, did you see that prediction? He actually lead me. Like he he freaking aimed in front of me, like wow. And it's, it's not even high rank yet. Can you believe that? So, this is the... What do you call the... Um, difficulty curve? As you can say... Yeah, you know. The curve on the... How difficult this game is gets is... It's, it's kind of going up quite steadily, as you can see. So, it's still within the 6 stars. But, as you proceed down the list, it does get a little bit more and more difficult each time. <coughs> Pardon me, there's a bit of phlegm in my throat. So I sort of recovered from my sore throat already, but it's gradually turning into a cough, which is kind of weird. So yeah, there's there are times where phlegm, you know, phlegm gets clogged up in my throat, can't really speak well. Yeah, you you get the point. Oh crap, I didn't charge completely. I forgot that I don't have fast charge again. Ah. Uh. So he did drop a shiny right there, which is something that I would like to get really. I'm not sure if it's a good time, but I'm taking it anyways. Okay. Um, yeah, it's actually quite alright the time, I guess. Ah, he's down digging again. So, whoa, right beside me. This is weird. Okay, can you do something more fruitful than just doing that? Okay, the armor on his, sort of like the lava on his arm is uh, has broken off. And what are you doing? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, he's, he's angry. So yeah, you can break the... Basically his four limbs, you can break off the so-called the armor... Lava armor on it. You can break the... Oh, shite, not that, not that, not that. Ah, You can break the lava off his... Uh, dorsal fins, as you can see. And uh, you can break the... Whoa! You can break the lava on his... Uh, his... Big as well, and... Damn it, that was such a... Bitch move. I'm trapped in a. Oh no, oh no, not now's not the time. Alright, alright. I need I need to heal. I need to heal stat. 
no, please, please don't. Okay, at least it's not spinning it. That was close. Okay, I'm on fire as well, that's not very helpful. Okay, the fire's put out at least. Okay, no, 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 no! Oh my gosh! I hate you, Agneto! Uh, okay, actually, no, this is not the worst I've faced. It's fine, it's all fine, it's cool. <sighs> okay, taking a deep breath and let's move on. Okay, he's still not sweeping it, so... Ah, that's the word sweep. Alright, I broke uh, the armor on his, uh, both his forelimbs. I'm gonna try focusing on the hind limbs now. Not sure if I can actually break it in time, but uh, he's, he's actually still pretty alright, I will say. Oh, he's gonna do this charging thing again. Oh, and he broke that. Wow. Oh, I'm holding this for way too long. Way too long. And he's gonna go digging again. Ah, damn it. Missed that shot right there. Uh, I forgot about it. Never mind. So, okay. So yeah, the interesting... Uh, you can cut this guy's tail off as well. But to do so, you have to first break the lava armor off the tail, which is... I believe I have done so, I'm not too sure. Might not have. Oh, more lava. I mean more, well, lava beam, whatever. Uh -huh. Ooh, flinched there. Yeah. How do you like that? So I believe his weak point is also his his face slash big area. I can't. I'm not too sure, but uh, that's the general rule of thumb. You don't know where to aim. Just aim for the face. But still, I would like to break off the last two armor pieces, I breakable parts on him, which are the so-called armor pieces. I don't really know how. Well, how do you describe them? Lava armor, armor made of armor made of lava. Oh my god, whatever. Yep. So. Uh, oh, I can still mine. Wow, that's a lot. Alright, just gonna pop another potion, get another ration, so I can be in good condition, T to take him down in fashion, well, whatever. Okay, there we go. I'd actually like to hit to area 9 to do some mining as well, so... Hmm. Wait, he's actually limping, you see? He is limping! Wow! Okay. Hey, buddy. I'm here. I still have yet to break the armor pieces off your leg, yo. Oh, I was aiming for your leg, not your face. But you turned. Can't be helped. Oh no, he's, he's doing the thing. Oh, he got me. Damn it. Ah, oh, that's so hard to dodge. Well, it's actually not very hard to dodge. I'm just, I'm just bad. Oh, he's uh, aiming for Arax. Nope. Still not getting the armor, that, that leg, that hind leg. Nope. Come on. Don't move. Yeah, something broke. Oh, look, there we go. The armor on his tail broke. And now the armor on his feet broke. There we go. The last one broke as well. So he's completely naked. And oh, he's dead. <laughs> wow. Alright, that's... Um, that's fast. <laughs> so we did actually manage to break everything at the last moment. Sweet. I'm liking that. So... We haven't actually had a review on the so-called the armor sets for the new monsters that we've defeated. Uh, I'm thinking I should do it after this. Maybe should I? Whoa, scouting pl pl something. I, I can't remember. I can't... Uh, never mind. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should do that right after this. I'm not sure. Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? Um, but before anything, I'm gonna try and mine all of this first. I want some charms, man. I mean, it's still low rank, but I haven't had any interesting charms at all, which is pretty sad. Sai, at least give me something with like sneak or like, you know, um, evade or something better than auto guard, which doesn't work for me because I don't have a shield. Yeah, you get the idea. No, no, no charms, really? Atmosphere plus, no charms, no? Oh, damn it. Oh well. At least I've tried. I can't. You can't say I didn't try. I did try. But I'm gonna have to try more off camera, I guess. Uh, that sucks. So yeah. Lava nugget. Ooh, four of these. Wow. I already have four of them though. Oh, melted rock stripped off the body of Uranganon. Okay, interesting. Um, scale shell fin fin. Yep. The plu plura. The organ and shell from Magnon. Netos, and nah, I can't pronounce the name. Another chance used to fire its powerful heat rays. Oh, so those beams are called heat rays. Fine. 
or at least according to this translation. So yeah, his beak, okay, so its beak is called his beak, fine. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Items from the cats, very nice, 15 minutes. And there we go, Crimson Spear. So yes, I would like to save, thank you very much. And just a quick little preview? No, review. Yeah, just a quick little review of the new armor sets that we have unlocked. So, um, there we go. What armor craft? Let's just look at the plates. So yeah, I've unlocked quite a bit. The Diablos, the Ty Tigrex, Agneto, this three. So we're only looking at the, the Ghana ones because uh, I'm going to focus this entire series on just me using the bow. So yeah, the Diablos set does give Pierce up, which is absolutely fantastic, really. But uh, it does have this um, status minus three and then status down, which requires you to use more of your arrow coatings in order to apply a status. So that's not that, not the best really. I'm gonna, if I do make this set, I really want to jam that out if I were you. And a uh, normal shot plus that doesn't really apply to bows because it, it just doesn't. It's, it's meant for bow guns. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Um, let's just see how it looks. It looks pretty sturdy, very nice, beautiful, like huge armor with the two horns right there. I mean, it's kind of neat, but uh, just not very useful for a bow user. Anyway, the Tigrex vest. So, yeah, here we go looking at the Tigrex set. It, uh, not Tigrex, Tigrex. Oh my gosh, stop, stop saying Tigrex. Okay, it gives you gluttony, hearing protection, and psychic. What does psychic do? Basically, psychic, um, yeah, you can see it from here. It allows you to detect monsters on the map very easily. And uh, hearing basically just gives you ear plug, so um, the effects of monster roars will get diminished or even close to zero. Like, if um, basically if they roar and you have HG earplugs, which stands for high grade earplugs, you are just like, huh, whatever. And you can just keep smacking them while they they roar away. Um, gluttony affects the amount of stamina replenish, replenish when using items. So this is only really needed early game. I feel when uh, you have very little stamina and just eating one piece of uh, ration or like a well done stick would give you like the extra stamina all you need that can last you for a really long time yeah so I don't really see the need for this uh, especially when in the late game not really late game but when you've completed the upgrades for your hot springs hot springs hot spring yeah when you've done all the hot spring quests and yeah so this uh, well hearing hearing I can get it from other sources as well I suppose um, this is not really necessary either and uh, so Protection, negative protection though, that's, that's terrible, like um, Demonic Blessing basically means you get a chance to take more damage. If I'm not wrong, it's every time you get hit, there's a one third chance you receive one third less damage for Divine Blessing and one third more damage if you have Demonic Blessing. I may be wrong in terms of the values, but that's the general idea. Uh huh. And last but not least, I'm not Agnator Vest, so this guy is a... Uh, it looks pretty nice. It's a sweet, what do you call this? Very nice orangey red, like Dagnetor's lava. And uh, yeah, looks quite light for a gunner, which is good, I suppose, but not like it really matters. So, this one gives normal up, pierce shot plus, potential, and pre negative potential, but it gives precision. So, potential once again does not really. No, not potential. Precision does not apply to bow, it's only to bow guns. As you can see, bow gun only already written there, and this is also another bow gun only thing where you can actually use pierce ammunition for the bow guns that initially cannot use pierce shots. So yeah. Alright, and uh, potential. This thing is, um, as the description already says, the attack and defense uh, will increase or decrease based on your health. So, worry what, which is uh, an effect of the negative potential is that when your health decreases to I believe below 20 or 40 percent I can't remember and your attack and defense will actually decrease which is even worse while the adrenaline plus one and plus two basically means that you have more attack and more defense when your health goes down so they have to reach certain thresholds before they activate so it's not it's not like every HP I lose I gain two attack two defense things like that no it doesn't work that way yeah so um E what else does this guy give? I can't remember. Yeah, normal up. So um, I already have it, so there's nothing really I need to explain, I guess. Yep, and the Duramboros, um, 
just in case I didn't explain it the last time, I can't really remember if I did or not, but the Durambaros gives Expert negative, Expert recoil, potential, destroyer. So, destroyer is really useful. It, it literally just helps you break parts very easily. Like, it's, it's just so amazing with this set on. Um, I used to have this skill on another armor set, on another character in another time, but yeah, this this is the destroyer of tails, the breaker of heads, and it's amazing. But it doesn't help you in doing raw damage itself in killing the monster, it just really helps you to break the part much easier. So let's say if you're parting with a, you know, four men, it would be nice if one of you guys have part breaker to help, you know, make it easier to break a certain difficult to break part, like for example the Zenoga tail or something, I don't know. So anyway, yeah. Recoil, it's it's also limited to Bogan only, so I'm just gonna skip that. Um, potential, I've explained it already. And Expert, this is amazing. I love this skill because I just love critical hits. Yes. So basically, when you have critical eye, your, um, your critical chance increases, or your affinity, whatever you wanna call it. So if I remember correctly, critical eye plus one gives 10% more critical chance. Um, critical eye plus two is 15%, and critical eye plus three is 30%. I may be wrong. Don't quote me on anything, but generally the higher the critical eye, the higher the critical chance, and the lower the critical eye, you get negative critical chance. And yes, there's this thing called negative crit, in which when um, with negative critical eye, when you so-called, you have a chance to crit negatively, to have a negative critical hit, in which your damage is 75% of what it used to be, of what it's supposed to be. Well, well whereas if you have a positive critical chance, as in, Oh my gosh, this is confusing. Conf critical chance and critical damage. But yes, if you're to crit with a positive critical eye, you'll do 25% extra damage. But if you're to crit with a negative critical chance, I mean, negative critical damage, you're gonna have less 25% damage. So, yep, this is a quick rundown of um, some of these new armor sets that we unlocked. And we will not be making any of these, sadly. Uh, because, just because, you know, changing sets and all is a the bother and grinding for stuff, so yeah. But I will, on the other hand, be doing that for high rank because re be reminded that this is still low rank, this is still low rank gear, and yeah, it's it's not worth the time to go and um, chase after all this stuff. Really, just nah, just finish your low rank quickly, move on to the high rank, and that's where the big guns are, the huge fun is, and the huge challenge. So yeah, anyways, speech bubbles. I will settle them in the next episode. It's been a long explanation and talking from me. I know you're bored with my voice right now. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, I'll see you all soon. Like, subscribe, comment if you will. If you would, will please. Thank you. MH Geek signing out.